Imagine a workplace where stress is minimized, productivity is high, collaboration is effective, and colleagues appreciate and care for each other. Sounds great, right? Well, there's a secret hormone that can help us create a workplace like this. Hormones can impact our mood, productivity, happiness, but there's one particular hormone that can transform the workplace. If workplace environments promote its release within us. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the hormone oxytocin. Now there are a range of ways oxytocin can benefit the workplace, but we're going to look at three. One, often known as the love hormone, oxytocin plays a significant role in lots of human behaviors, especially in response to love, trust, and social connection. And the first way it can benefit the workplace is by enhancing team connection and collaboration. Colleagues that trust each other can be more effective at working together, sharing ideas openly and supporting each other, which can lead to increased innovation and creativity. Oxytocin can also increase empathy, reduce fear, and help to resolve workplace conflicts more amicably. Workplaces with strong social bonds are more likely to overcome disagreements more effectively, maintaining a positive work environment. Let's look at the second way oxytocin can benefit the workplace. Two, when we're in high pressure work environments, this can evoke feelings of stress, anxiety, and panic. Stress can be responsible for a range of negative emotions in the workplace, and oxytocin can help to counteract it. Think of this scenario. You're at your desk and you've just been bombarded with loads of emails and it's beginning to stress you out. You've told the colleagues next to you and they don't seem to care one bit. One even says, just get on with it. But what about this? The same scenario happens, but your colleague shows a little empathy and offers their support if you need it. Which one would make you feel better? It's likely that having a colleague who shows a little compassion and support will help to reduce your stress. Of course, it doesn't change the fact that you've just been bombarded with loads of emails, but perhaps you feel a little more supported now. Oxytocin has been shown to reduce stress levels and having supportive colleagues could help reduce employee stress. And a workplace that creates a culture like this can help to keep staff happy. Three, one of the biggest reasons people hate their jobs is because of poor leadership. Leaders and managers can have as much of an impact on employee mental health as their partners. A good leader will have a positive impact on employees mental health. A bad leader won't. Leaders who create an environment of trust and support might naturally encourage the release of oxytocin among their colleagues. A leader that promotes and supports social connections is likely to have higher levels of engagement, productivity, morale and teamwork. Now when workplaces don't ignite the release of oxytocin, employees are more likely to quit, which can disrupt business in many ways. To understand the real reason people quit their jobs, you need to watch this video right here.